welcome to the Mama Pop Quilt Shop Studio. Thank you for joining us today. We're working on a very pretty heart that we did via some live streams a couple of uh, weekends ago. I also miniaturized it and shared the cuttings to that during those live streams. So uh, check it out, okay? Uh, I did add a couple of borders on here. I did a scrappy bit of a red one. <laughs> Sophie's getting comfy. Scrappy red one, and then I just kind of bulked it up a little bit more with a black four inch one. So I have something going in between the black where the, it's um, patched or put together, sorry, uh, scrappy here, and then here, and then I have something else I'm, go I'm going to do different in the heart set. Okay, so let's uh, get this going. What's stitching up here is called uh, Frilly Hearts, edge to edge, and I'm putting it in like a thick border. I'm using cotton candy pink thread. It's very beautiful. It's kind of like a bit of a paisley little scoop around the heart. It's quite lovely and I think very appropriate for this whole project. And she's going to stitch in the black, the red, and the as arrow fabric here. And I'll be sure to do those as the borders up and down. Hope you're having a good week so far. Oh, we've had uh, weather. That's what we've had. <laughs> <laughs> all good. We are, we are safe and warm. That's all that matters. And it goes into the next one. So it's going to stitch out six times. So that's the one of the patterns, the block stitch out. And then do six times across this whole project. The link for you to see the live stream, how we put this together. And then there's also the cut list for the small one. I love, I love a beautiful pattern, but I also like to sometimes be able to utilize it for the space that I have. Um, and sometimes miniatures or smaller ones are, are better suited for this, the space. Well, for whom you want to give it to as a gift. Perfect for a little dolly. Well, I introduced a little bit of gray. I didn't have enough of this uh, circled gray here, so I had another one with a little bit of a wintry kind of gray. Had a few snowflakes into it. Thought it suited it. Now it's heading into the third one. Now this ends up being about uh, 68 by 56. 66 or something like that. It's, it's pretty close to like 70 by 70. So. This is a great wedding gift to give somebody or just to have a nice cuddle quilt for the couch. There's nothing wrong with having a nice big heart. If we need a little bit more of that in the world, some more love. This 
is a great scrap buster. It's not, you could do a jelly roll, but it, the pieces are three and I think three quarter inches. So the measurements would be just a little bit off, but I'm sure you could figure it out if you want to. It's definitely a lovely uh, stash buster. You can certainly mix up the colors. It doesn't have to be red and white. And, and, um, grace, what I have going on here. You do a ring. candy pink. I didn't want anything too too bright to take away from the pretty heart itself. that we were posting up last Wednesday. It looks so darn cute. So darn cute. I am in love with it. And we will be finishing up the lining and the jacket on Saturday. have been snowed in since like it that I have a computerized system so uh, it can use its designs as well as my own creativity to make something uh, beautiful for this book project. Nice and crisp, as well as a nice light loft. If I decided what I was going to do, they kept it going. You never know. I can only suggest a comment below. Because you just never know. Right. right. It's got some really cute petite backing here, like little flowers or uh, apples with a stem. I'm not sure. It's just really cute. I really like it. So, Alright, so let's stop that. Here, we're going to roll it just a little bit and then take it off the uh, belts as well. Okay, so let's just roll it a smidge. Let's put you there. And switch up to 12 stitches per inch. So what my goal is to do in here is to kind of start from the center, go up, do a loop, come down, just on the three rows, row, row three rows at a time. But in the gap that happens between the loops, I want to be able, with the next row, what I do is be able to come up and work in those gaps. Okay, that's, that's the thought. So hide our little stitches right here in the seam. We'll do some locking so they don't go nowhere. And we just kind of want to try and do our best to space it out correctly. Okay. I am using the lines of the of the quilting to help aid me. 
Now I've seen a lovely cross stitcher do this. Her name is Stitched by Susan. She is amazing, absolutely amazing. Uh, and uh, I really I just am inspired by her. So let's let's try this way. Hold on. <laughs> Cross your fingers and your toes. <laughs> Now, what my goal is to do is on the next round is be able to come up and loop in those spots right there. Okay, I'm going to see about coming down the side here. Okay, now if I come up backwards, I should be able to come up and loop in here and then down again and loop in here and then down again and loop in here okay that's that's mm -hmm. let's try <laughs> no rich, no reward I didn't want to go too short going to keep finishing out this quilt. I'm just going to roll it until I get to my next section. Oh, this is going to be so cute and fun. Uh, you guys have an amazing day and I'm going to get stitching. Take care. See you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ding that bell. Okay. Bye.